Wapnin, it's Chet from the finiteplaylist.com here with a quick look at Black Ops 2 on the Nintendo Wii U. Um, I've had a lot of people come to me asking me whether they should uh, emigrate from the PS3 or the 360, uh, whether this is the uh, the best version of the game or not, um, and it depends on you. I think it's my favourite, but as you'll be able to see here, let's see how many games we've got on the go. Um, 444, 30 pit see that there's thir zero people playing ground war, 11 kill confirmed. So you can see the community's not there yet. 93, 0, 0, 0, 0. I mean, look, I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, if you're a sort of hardcore Call of Duty player and you uh, you play it a lot and you play lots of different modes, obviously this is not for you at the moment. Post Christmas it might be busier, but at the moment, as you can see, most of the game modes aren't being touched. Um, the cool thing about the Wii U though obviously is there's Miiverse so you can do what I did last weekend and I did it the weekend before when I fancied playing Kill Confirmed. No one was playing it so I went onto Miiverse said jump onto Kill Confirmed and within it was less than five minutes both times we had a couple of uh, full games on the go. So the, the community is there, it wants to play but you just have to sort of get the ball rolling yourself sometimes which is a bit of a pain but hey ho. Um, so yeah I'm going to have a quick game of Domination and uh, if you've not played Black Ops 2 at all this is a f the, the maps are fantastic, um, apart from one which is called, what's it called? Carrier, I think. It's my least favourite map that Treyarch have ever put in a Call of Duty game. But yeah, as you see, it's, if you've played the PS3 360, it's much the same. It's actually identical and loading times, etc. There's not a lot of difference there, really. Um, I've heard that on some of the bigger maps on multiplayer, some people have had uh, frame rate issues and stuff like that. Uh, but I haven't noticed that. The only frame rate issues I've seen are in the campaign, and they were always during cutscenes. <clears throat> so, who cares? You know what I mean? If it's during the cutscenes, it's fine. I'd rather they weren't there, but as long as it's not screwing up the gameplay, it's fine by me. Right, let's do this. Secure the objectives. Oh yeah, Secure run and dive, off. classic. Uh, so yeah, the other cool feature about the Wii, uh, uh, the, the Wii U version is um, that you can play the entire game on the gamepad. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Uh, yeah, you can play the entire game on the gamepad, um, or you can do the equivalent of split-screen multiplayer with one of you on the gamepad and one of you uh, using the TV. And uh, it's quite a it's quite a strange uh, it's quite a strange effect because although normally if you have it on a split-screen TV, <clears throat> you've got more the screen's bigger. But uh, even though it's on this smaller screen on the pad, it feels like you've got more space on it. It's, uh, it's a bit weird and very cool if you want to play on the same. Uh, how? UAV awaiting uh, orders. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, it also Security means that if problem. someone, you know, as the Wii U's famous advert has, Bravo if someone secure. comes in and needs to watch TV. What? I had no idea that hole was there. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it runs much the same as the other versions. There's nothing in it, really. I can't see a whole lot of difference. UAV inbound. Oh, stupid. Uh, there's no live streaming. Um, there's also no Elite, but that might change. There's going to be DLC, um, but yeah, there's no there's no COD Elite and um, what are they called? You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Pay up front for a load of maps. Season Pass, there you go. <laughs> there's no Season Pass. Um, and if you're playing the game, as you probably saw at the beginning, I'm playing this using the, uh, the new Pro Controller, which is, um, yeah, it's a, it's a cool little pad. Uh, it's it's almost exactly the same size and style of was that a sniper? Losing Charlie. Assault rifle. Rubbish. Uh, it's almost exactly the same size and shape as an Xbox 360 controller, and it feel it's a great pad, but um, the uh, the face buttons, the A, B, Y, and X, uh, the four face buttons, shit, um, are, are kind of in a weird place. So I've got used to it now, but when I first started playing, all I kept when I wanted to reload, I just kept getting my secondary weapon out. Because uh, they're really close together and they're in a weird place. If you're used to the dual shock or the, the six axis or whatever and the 360 pad, there's a guy. I knew. Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, you get used to it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's compatible with everything that the other, the Wii U Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, so the Wii Motor Nunchuck and the uh, Pro controllers that plugged into the to the bottom of the Wii Motor. Securing C. Um. And yet, like I said, the Miiverse is uh, is very cool. Just being able to get games kick-started. I mean, it's annoying if, you, if you're used to just bouncing between games without having to uh, get them going yourself. But uh, at least it's nice to know that there is the community there. And I'm really am hoping that after Christmas, um, people... 
Uh, yeah, after Christmas. <sighs> I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. Yeah, sorry, after, after Christmas, I'm really hoping that, um, that the community starts to swell a little bit. Because there is a lot of interest in this version. I've got some friends who are probably going to pick it up. And uh, like I said, if you want the features, they're, they're quite unique. And it's my I don't play Call of Duty that much. If you play it a lot, this is not the version for you to get. I mean, it is the full package. It is going to have all the DLC that's coming. And it does work like the other versions. It's got zombies on there and all that other stuff. But uh, yeah, unless you think the Miiverse stuff, the split screen or the gamepad, I should say, um, it are cool features, uh, then get stuck in. I, th I think it's the best version. I like all that stuff. And as I said, I'm not, I'm not a really fanatical uh, COD, COD guy. So it works for me. Oh, also, if you think that there's going to be loads of noobs on here, you'll be dead wrong because uh, that's something that a couple of my friends who are really hardcore COD players, there's something very appealing to them about um, uh, about getting a new COD game and just going on and uh, beating the absolute shit out of a bunch of people who can't play COD. Uh, that's not the case. A lot of the people who've got the Wii version uh, sort of learned on the Wii version of uh, yeah the original Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3 and they're pretty impressive with the uh, the Wii Mote and Nunchuck and you can tell from the kill cams who's using it and who isn't. Uh, but yeah if you think you're just gonna there's gonna be a just a kill fest uh, you'll probably be wrong because uh, there's some uh, some very effective efficient players out there. Um, but yeah I hope this has been helpful somehow. I think the Wii version is the best one but then I like the features. If you don't, don't get it. Simple as that. Find out playlist.com, yeah? Get me.